Layer Zero just closed a funding round in early April, raising 120 million at a 3 billion valuation. And you know what that means? A growing speculation of an incoming airdrop. Well, buckle up as we get you up to speed with Layer Zero's technology and ecosystem, plus how to increase your chances of being eligible for a potential airdrop. What is Layer Zero and what does it do? Well, simply put, Layer Zero is one of the projects trying to solve interoperability issues in blockchain technology. We can all agree that blockchains can be useful. However, they're not very good at talking to one another. For example, two dApps built on Ethereum can interact with each other, but when it comes to communication between different chains, it can be a little tricky. This means that blockchain ecosystems exist as islands cut off from other chains unless a bridge is built and we all know how that has gone. Layer Zero attempts to bypass the typical bridging method and is instead attempting to build the foundational communication infrastructure for the entire blockchain ecosystem. Well, that's quite the ambition, huh? Well, Layer Zero's lofty ambitions are being backed by some of the largest names in the space, with 293 million raised in funding over eight rounds, featuring high-profile backers such as Sequoia, A16Z, Coinbase Ventures, and Binance Labs. Without getting too technical, it uses what it calls an ultra light node, relayers, and oracles to transfer information across chains. A set of smart contracts known as endpoints link the chains together, and that all of Layer Zero's supported chains have these endpoints, which can additionally be deployed on other chains to add them to Layer Zero's network. Let's take this simple transaction to see how these components work together. Say you want to send information from chain A to chain B, this could be a cross-chain token swap, a cross-chain NFT transaction, or even a cross-chain vote. Once you initiate the transaction, its details will be sent to the layer zero endpoint on chain A. This endpoint sends the transaction details to the oracle and relayer, which notify chain B that you want to make a transaction. The oracle is responsible for sending a summary of the latest transactions on chain A to chain B, while the relayer submits proof to chain B that your transaction did indeed happen on chain A. Once this proof is validated, that is once the oracle and the relayer agree with each other, a message is sent to chain B to give the green light that your transaction is valid and can be completed. Therefore, transactions are secure so long the oracle and relayer are independent and do not maliciously collude with each other. There are already multiple projects benefiting from this technology, which which according to the team has allowed the platform to secure over 7 billion in total value locked from dozens of projects across over 40 EVM and non-EVM chains such as Ethereum, Arbitrum, BNB Chain, Polygon, and Aptos. Notably, the number of users actively interacting with dApps on Layer Zero increased significantly following expectations for a big airdrop, especially after the announcement of its latest 120 million funding round. Here are some of the dApps and protocols you can explore while you go on your airdrop hunting journey. First up, Stargate Finance, a project which allows users to send native tokens directly to non-native chains without the need for wrapped tokens. Stargate might be key to this airdrop hunt because one, it was the first application built by Layer Zero, and two, it is the most popular protocol on the network by TBL. To interact with Stargate, bridge funds across any or all of their supported networks. You can do this multiple times, and afterward, consider buying the protocol's native tokens, STG, and staking it on their platform. This will allow you to vote you can read through open proposals to see what's going on in the protocol and cast your votes on some of them. If you don't want to leave any stone unturned, then consider using other bridges built with Layer Zero. This includes the Aptos Bridge, which you can use to transfer assets from other networks into Aptos. LiquidSwap also allows you to bridge assets from Aptos into other networks like Ethereum, Optimism, and Arbitrum, just to name a few. While you're at it, you can also buy, sell, and provide liquidity since the platform is also so a DEX. Now, rinse and repeat by bridging funds through the other Layer Zero power bridges, including the USDC bridge and the Bitcoin bridge. Next, you can try getting familiar with the top Layer Zero powered dApps. 
First, we have Radiant Capital, a cross-chain borrowing and lending protocol built on Arbitrum and BNB Smart Chain. This year, the protocol surpassed its all-time TVL amid growing rumors of the airdrop. Next, we have cross-chain DEXs, starting with SushiSwap. Swapping tokens in the DEX is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you toggle on the cross-chain option, which is the one which uses Layer 0 tech. Then we have Trader Joe, a protocol that claims to be a one-stop decentralized trading platform. Platform. Here you can swap, lend, borrow, and stake assets. Trader Joe also recently partnered with Layer Zero to allow transfer of Joe tokens directly across different chains that the DEX is active on. There are also other smaller protocols gaining in popularity which have integrated with Layer Zero in some way, such as Pendle with its cross-chain V tokenomics or Rage Trade with its Stargate powered vaults. Plus, you may also luck out by interacting with tokenless protocols like Rage Trade, which could also reward early users with their own airdrop. Last but not least, you can interact with Tofu NFT, a multi chain NFT market powered by Layer Zero by buying, selling, or listing NFTs on the platform. If you want to put in a little more effort, don't forget to join the Layer Zero community on Discord and be an active member. Now, of course, like I said, there are many other projects building on top of Layer Zero zero that you can take your time exploring but as always make sure to dyor and experiment at your own risk and remember that an airdrop is not guaranteed also matter labs just launched their highly anticipated evm compatible l2 solution known as zk sync era and there's been growing speculations of an incoming airdrop for early users there as well so click right here to find out more mm -hmm.